Hello, today's stretch is for your hamstrings. It's a little bit of a different take on what you would normally do uh, for a hamstring stretch. So listen carefully. Um, we're gonna do a pelvic tilt. That is your um, pelvis tilting down um, away from you, like you're trying to tip a, a, a bowl of water that's sitting on your pelvis away. So you should end up with a nice dip in your back so it won't be on the floor anymore. So that needs to be involved in this. So that's what I'm talking about when I, when I talk about tilting your pelvis away. So, you need to either have your hands clasped behind your hamstring. If you can't get it that far, then use a tea towel, uh, a tea towel or a towel or whatever it is that you can uh, put behind your leg. And what you're going to do first of all is to take a deep breath in and tilt your pelvis away. And as you breathe out, bring your leg in as far as you can. For the neutral back, so that's your back flat onto the ground, you're going to push your leg away and resist it with your hands or the tail. And then you're going to bring your leg towards you as far as you can. You should be able to go a little bit further. Don't strain it. If it hurts, don't do it. Just take it as far as you can. So this time we're going to tilt our pelvis away. A deep breath in. And your leg is being pushed into your hands or your tail. And as you breathe out, bring your leg towards you as far as you can. Push your leg away with a neutral back and resist with your hands. And this time, bring your leg towards you. You can tilt your pelvis up if you need to. Take it that little bit further. Push your leg away. And bring your leg towards you, tilting your pelvis up towards your chin. And your legs should go that much further. Don't do any of this to a point of pain. It doesn't, it, there doesn't need to be any pain involved in this because as you're tilting your pelvis away and towards you then, then your legs got a little bit more leeway to move. If there is any pain then just take the movement, uh, make the movement a little bit smaller um, and, and a little bit slower. All of these are somatic exercises. In somatic exercises, it means that you're retraining your, your muscles and your brain to understand that they can lengthen further than they have ever have before. And if you do it regularly, then um, it will change how your, um, how your muscles understand how to lengthen. Always do it in a quiet space. Always do it with your eyes closed and try and put your awareness to the body part that you're trying to stretch. Um, and then feel what it feels like and then always relax afterwards so that um, your body has time to calibrate the, the, um, the, the, the muscle memory.